Hey guys, it's Peter Dean. I'm here with Boy Culture on the red carpet at the GLAAD Media Awards in New York. So you're hosting tonight. How awesome is that? So awesome. I was like, I'm pretty sure I was like fifth in line, but I don't care. I was like, but I'll take it. the other four, it. who cares? Who cares? They're not here. I'm here. It's cool because it's like the first time I've gotten the opportunity to host an award show this big, especially for the gay community. So I'm hoping it goes well and maybe I'll get to do more stuff like this. I was going to wear the same bow tie and I didn't. We would so have been that... twin. You look handsome. Well, I think you look better though. You have the bow tie. I have like skinny ties. So like, I feel like, I, no, right? Look, no? I, uh, I feel like I had to step it up. I didn't think my sweatpants would be appropriate. If so. they were pink, if they were pink, it would have worked. I know. I, I feel like people are either going to think I look really nice or think I'm one of the waiters. I'm not sure. Who inspired you to come out? Jason Collins and Michael Shan. Uh, them two, they're like big brothers to me. Um, so, and I talk to them just about every day, whether it's getting advice from them or whatever it may be. And um, just people call us the Three Musketeers. It's the, the, the Musketeers is going to grow, continue to grow, because I'm sure it's going to be a lot of other athletes uh, just come out and be themselves. Uh, it took me four years to come out, but I say better, better late than never. I, didn't, I went into this uh, making a leap, really. I didn't really know what was going to happen at the end of the day. I didn't know how people was going to handle it, how my coaches was going to handle it, my family. Uh, so it was a risk I was taking, uh, but I'm happy that I took the risk. So what does it feel like to be at such a big event at such a young age? It's mind-blowing. I don't, I don't even think I could, like, maybe when I'm 20 or something, I'll actually fully appreciate how cool this is. You've accomplished a lot. For someone who's so young, you're an inspiration not only to people your age, but people older. So what does that feel like? I just really want people, I want to make a change, and I don't want people to be bullied anymore, and it's heartbreaking to see that I even like I go to school and I see that every day and it's terrible I can't I I don't know why I don't know why people do that how did you come up with the whole idea um, the series is really based um, off of my experiences at, with me and my straight college roommate who we've now lived together for five years oh wow <laughs> yeah so it's real. The show's developing all the time. The third season is very different from the first two. Um, but kind of like the crux of our show is always the gay-straight relationship. You know, Austin and I call ourselves a homo-hetero power couple. I can see so, that. <laughs> so it's just, whatever we do, it's kind of through the prism of right. that relationship. If you could get anyone to guest star on your web series, who would it be and why? Oh my god. Well, this is... Okay, well, I am a huge Adina Menzel fan. Adina, if you're watching, uh, you should definitely come and guest star on our show. How would you say the new twerkers now, like Miley Cyrus, Siggy Azalea, how do they compare? Um, let's just say they're still trying. <laughs> Who are you wearing tonight? This is Max Adria for Herbal and this is Rhoda Cavalli. You see how... It Yes, I love, I love it. it. And then, of course, I'm wearing tributes by Yves Saint Laurent. I love it. I'm wearing the cologne. I was sitting on the balcony, looking over my social media, and I said, oh, I have to go. It's 4.30. We have to be there at 5. And I didn't know what I was going to wear, so I ran up to my closet, pulled this out, pulled that. Just a little old thing. And then I zoomed up the face. So this has been uh, a crazy season of The Real Housewives, I feel like. What can we expect going on? Well, I, I told you guys before the season started. You saw, you know, Heather and Carol last year with their tops on, and I'm not talking swimsuits because you saw Carol with her top off. I did. I did see that. You just had the awards in LA, and now we're here in New York. If you could pick one country next year to expand, which one would it be, and why? That's funny. I just came back from London last week, so we're we're talking about perhaps expanding to London, which gives us a center uh, a center footprint in the international community so you never know for you now that you've if you're putting that behind you what is what's the next chapter for you i would like to continue a, a message of inclusion for lgbt people in sports especially in the educational environment grade schools high schools colleges uh, because i think it's important to, to spread that message uh, that if you know you do happen to be gay sports isn't something that's closed off for you and i'm looking at spreading that message uh, across the united states in september of this year the one thing that I struggled with myself is that I didn't have any role models or identities uh, when I was learning and coming to terms with my sexuality. And that was the hardest thing. And I think it's great that I can offer that for somebody else uh, to come to terms with it and understand that if they are in sports, uh, being gay does not stop them from competing in any way. Hey, who are you most excited to see or meet? Kylie Minogue. 
Kalimano.